Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. So do you know that I clean my whole space before I um before I uh, go away? So let me text my husband that I'm recording this morning. Um, so that if he walks over, he won't <laughs> be so noisy. Okay, so we last left off with making the journal. Well, I have decided to add three envelopes. I was going to add four, but I'm going to add three. So I'm going to uh, trim this one down. And I know this back one's going to go here. And uh, I think this one's going to go here. So, yeah, that one will go here. So let's ink and decorate some envelopes. So I have these three sheets that I have done. And it was from ledgers, receipts, something. So, and I just picked three that would go with this. Um, I think it would go well. See the colors kind of match. And I haven't inked anything yet, but I did trim this and I said, oh, wait, 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 let me turn on my computer. So we're going to trim. This trimmer I like, but it doesn't always cut exactly straight. And I think I was pulling this bar. So now I have to maybe learn to pull it in. Or maybe it needs to be tightened because there is a screw where you can tighten it. And I don't know if you can see, so well, too close. Yeah, nope. Oh, let's go as far out as I can. Whoa. <laughs> and yes, that blade has come down on me. It's not real tight. <clears throat> it's come down on me. Got my finger before. So it's not for kids. Ah, this is what's going on. That needs to be out. It usually just stays out. But I don't know. It got put in. But I'm trying to remember to bring my hand and push towards. Because it's supposed to be automatic sharpening. True. So, and if it cuts straight, you're supposed to know by taking the two ends and is it the same size at the two ends and it is not it is a hair off but it was 1 16th off so a hair I can live with but some of my projects I can see with my eyeball that it was um not straight so those projects don't go to people I'll just go on my shelf as projects I've made. I'm a perfectionist and it's hard to be a perfectionist as a crafter because you cannot be perfect. I don't think you can really be perfect at anything. But some people are really, really, really close. There's probably mistakes that I see that you would never see. So, okay, let's put that down there. I don't normally work with this mat, but I'm using it to block the lighting that's glaring on y'all. So that's why that mat's there. So hopefully, maybe I can shove it out of the way and it won't mess with me because I'll work right here more. I never thought about that all these years later. Wow. Huh. Okay, how far up can it go? There we go. That's quite a bit of space, so I won't, because I accidentally cut it one time somewhere. I got this mat at Daiso for a dollar fifty at that store, and um, I don't go to Daiso, but maybe once every two years. So this is already the right size, and. Oh, I've got to ink all these. Wait a minute, wait a minute. we got to ink everything. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get my paper. I'm using... What am I using? Tea dye. Let's ink everything up. If 
is I was desperate for this color envelope. Um, I thought it would match the file folders and I have these in this color that my husband Johnny bought from the store. They're the same color but these are Anna Griffins. For me to pull out Anna Griffin out of a kit <laughs> Oops. tells you I really like the person that gets this. <laughs> oh. So on my list to buy is um, this color envelope. I think I got to do both sides. This is getting glued down, but I think this, yeah, the outside edges will definitely be seen. Oh, that video yesterday was 30 minutes and it took a long time to upload. Then I had to restart it because my Wi Fi kind of just fell apart. We use a satellite. It's not HughesNet, it's it's something else. I don't know the name of it, but it's like HughesNet that they show on commercials. It's um it's from a satellite. And ugh, it's not good. Let me go ahead and do these corners just in case you see them, but I hope you don't. So that's going to be glued down. I don't think you'll see any of that. And then, yeah, that'll look good. I don't know exactly what this color is, but let me go ahead and ink around here. It hides the white of the paper and the edge when you trim too, even though it says, you, you probably look at it and say it doesn't need ink. It's just hiding that edge. This is Antique Papery. I sent her a message and she said that her Etsy store, she's been on Etsy I think six or seven years, but her Etsy store is coming back with full new stuff in April. Um, I know she had trouble with her computer uh, during that storm and she had lost a lot of power <clears throat> in Texas. She lives about an hour away from me, so one day I'll meet Sherry. The lady does antique papery um, prints that we're looking at. But I like her style. I like Victorian. I have a friend, a couple of friends actually, and they do digis. Um, and I like them, but they're not my style. So it bothers me that I don't use theirs. But this moment I see something that's my style, I'll definitely buy from them. But it does bother me. And one it bothered me so much I called her and asked her, do you mind if I <clears throat> use someone else's? Because, you know, that would kind of hurt my feelings. So anyway, she said no. But anyway, okay, so we're inking these up. I was going to just craft for a few minutes and then I thought, oh, I can make a video. But I had my music playing put me in a good, good mood this morning. Ugh. Okay, corner, stay down. And it was, you know, if you know me, if you know me, I am from St. Augustine, Florida, the oldest city in the United States. And the people that really know me know that I haven't been in Texas forever, but I am now a forever Texan. Um, my final ride will be back to St. Augustine, Florida. Um, but anyway, <laughs> oh my God, where'd that come from? So, but my favorite radio station has an app. 96.9 .9 out of Jacksonville, the Eagles. And it plays a lot of Southern rock and it plays ACDC and it plays Leonard Skinner and CCR and Joan Jett. But it really plays a lot of Southern rock. 
and I had that going. <laughs> so, and I had my door open again today. So if the bird flies in, it's a beautiful springy day now that we've uh, changed our clocks. <laughs> but um, it's my favorite radio station. So I have an app on my phone and I keep my phone right here and it's charged and I listen to it. Or if I'm not recording, I can also listen to my laptop. Also, if I don't have that, my husband loves country and he loves the oldies. And I can tell you any singer and I do like country. But when you don't want to be sad or you don't want to be blue, sometimes it's just not country. Because I just don't do sad anymore. I, I'm in a place that, you know, I'm just not there. So, if I'm not doing the ACDC or Leonard Skinner, I'm on DirecTV channel 803. That is oldies from the 60s, 50s and 60s, where that's really, really old school, way before me. But I'm guessing that my mom and dad must have listened to it so much when I was little, itty bitty. Well, anyway. So that's why I think I am going to try the smaller one. This is printed normal, 8.5 by 11. This one is 7. You can see the size is different. This is 7.2 times 10.2, I think. You see the difference? I'm going to have to trim this one, but I would rather trim than be too small. So, okay, I'm just a rambling as I'm crafting. So, let's see what size the envelope is and trim it. It is seven and a quarter by five and a quarter. So, is this 10? It is a little bit smaller than 10, but if I divide it in half, well, I don't know because of this back piece. Yeah, let's just divide it in half and cut it in half, and it's going to be good for this one. Okay, what's half of nine and three fourths? I don't want to work in my head. So, what I'm going to do is make a tick mark. Make a tick mark right there, and that tells me when I go to cut it. <laughs> you didn't want to divide. <laughs> okay. Okay, blade. Okay, blade. Let's see. <sighs> so, let me put it right on that tick mark. And if I'm wrong, it's just paper. It is going to be what it is. So, there we go. I could have moved it up a little or down a little to have the wording, but I didn't. Um, I could use my smaller um, trimmer too. Okay, so we have to ink right here to get rid of the whiteness. I don't even see it too much. Alrighty, so this is going to be the back. I'm going to glue it. And this is going to be the front. I'm glue it. I use art glitter glue. I'm running low and I need to order it now that it's not cold anymore because they only uh, send it when it's not cold because if it freezes it goes bad. During that storm we had here in Texas where it got real cold, I'm surprised I didn't remember to get my art glitter glue and take it in. Actually, I know why I didn't because I um, that whole week, it was a long week, I kept heaters on in my craft room and I would come sit bundled up and bundled up and uh, with a heater. We had two heaters on, one at Johnny's feet and one at my feet. Sometimes it got so cold that we couldn't even use the heater out here because I am in a room made made in a garage. Johnny had a 
stalls and he made one stall or that's not lining up that's not lining up let's take it up let me concentrate here let me not not talk for just a second see and if I had the radio on I would have to even turn the radio down <laughs> that's good enough I don't want to peel it up again and not have that glue so there's one envelope now let's do the other side but I think I need to glue I'll glue the edges here like a U so that I know I get the edges and then I'll glue the actual envelope and I'm hoping that I don't get glue um, where it closes my envelope up. I'm not going to get too close to the edge but this does dry clear so <clears throat> if I made a mistake it'll dry clear. So I think we did it. Here we go. So this is now going to be usable like this and it sure did make that envelope really strong and not flimsy because I use um, linen cardstock. See it's and it's 80 pound and I buy it wholesale. We buy it um, a couple of cases at a time. So there's my envelope and oh wait a minute. I was going to trim this one so I'm not going to trim this one now. So maybe I'll just put it this direction. That way I don't trim it. How about that? And then it opens. Oh and it, wait 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 and it opened the wrong direction. Can I? Uh, can I? Uh. Oh, but you know I can. Let me show you a hint and a trick. This is why I don't craft live. <laughs> I'm going to melt that glue and this is going to peel off. My heat gun. Let's see. See if it works. Should I have left it? Should I have left it? Woo, baby, that's hot. I can't even pull it. Oh, I got it off. But was it worth it? Okay, so note to self when you have it here and it opens, this needs to face that direction see what I'm getting at so it has to go the other direction so I was able to save it <sighs> so I it did tear a little bit but we're just going to re-glue it Let's take off with uh, the glue gun oh don't be so roughly with the glue gun with hot glue you can definitely heat that glue back up I am throwing paper, not hitting the basket, and it's hitting me right beside that heater. Lord knows I don't want to burn down the garage. But anyway, what I was saying was um, we built a little room, craft room for me until the main craft room gets built in our main house and all that. Buildings, we have two more buildings to build out here. We're still living in the guest house. I don't know why I call it a guest house. It's our house. <laughs> little cottage, little bungalow, little cabin because it's log. My husband built it all himself, a log cabin. Okay, we got most of this stuff off. Don't need to really mess with that. Okay, we're not inking anymore. Let me move that. What a hot mess, but we learned. We learned that it's got to go the other direction, and I hope it's going to lay flat. 
Okay, let's start over. So again, I don't want to glue up here. And I hope I don't, I shouldn't snag anything to use. So let's start over. I'm going to glue a U shape on the bottom, backwards bottom. I'm glad this is heavy cardstock because if it was paper, I would have never been able to do that. But with heavy cardstock, even if I tore a little paper, it definitely um, definitely worked. Now, let's just hope the envelope survives. Can y'all hear those birds this morning? Lord, with that mistake, I don't know if I'm going to get all three envelopes today. Okay. So it's going to go backwards. Okay. Let's just eyeball it in place. Whew. I am not having fun after that hot shenanigans. Shenanigans, shenanigans. It's mine and my son's favorite word to use. I'll call him. What are you doing? What you up to? I say, what you up to? Up to shenanigans. No good shenanigans or shenanigans. Or he'll just put some kind of random word in there that I'll have to look up <laughs> because I don't know what it means. I'm like, okay. And we did not glue. Um, putting a lot of heat on that to make it flat and it works and no one knows but me and you and this is going to be the flap where we glue right here and we could glue right now because I want to glue this down see that envelope looks just like the manila folder I'm telling you but would a white one work that color probably would a dark brown one not so much and I didn't want a dark brown I wanted it to matchy matchy because I'm OCD about matchy matchy so we could glue this down right now so let's go ahead and glue it down um, but because once again I'm OCD I want to see what this measurement is and it is nine and three fourths and this is seven and a quarter so one inch and a corner <laughs> so one inch and a corner is where it's going to start so a corner cor quarter not corner so I'm pretty sure it's going to go right here let me see if I go right there if I line it up on that line how much do I have over here yep woohoo <sighs> so you did it <laughs> it goes right there. So now I got to cover that up so it goes right there. Okay, so let's do that. <coughs> We're going to glue this down first, then we'll find whatever pattern and we'll make fit and we're going to cover up that. Oh, you know what? I got an ink inside here a little bit too. So let me do that. Well, now you'll know it's not exactly the right color. Let's see if I can get in there. Note to self, do it on the next one before I glue this down. There. Yay. We did it. Okay. Got the glue going all a mess. It's drooling. My phone wants to update, and I don't like updating my phone. Last time I did that on my old phone, I had to buy this phone. Oh, what a mess. Anyway. Did we only get one envelope down? My God, y'all are not going to want to keep watching me if I'm only getting one envelope. I don't know if I want to go through. I keep thinking I need to cover up that tick mark that I made, but I think I don't because paper is going to come and cover that up. So I think I'm happy with that location. It didn't need to be right on the line. Um, so, yeah. 
There we go. And then something will be in here trimmed down and see how you can at least read it and it's not upside down and it will be there so when you open it it'll be a surprise. So yeah I'm liking that and that's got a lot of weight and heaviness to it so that's nice. Okay so you put that there. This is just my process and how I craft and have fun. We're going to do a long one over here and we're going to do the short one we're going to do the short one here or should we do a short one this direction here I think we should do it this direction so we're going to trim some of this one so I don't want it to go all the way let's see how wide is this so I don't cut it I probably should have used the other one this is six. How wide is that? That is six and a quarter. So let's make this six and a quarter. Okay. Get my smaller, my handy dandy smaller one out. And it goes to six and a quarter. Oh, I thought it was going to be heavier. Thank goodness my finger wasn't in there. Okay. Now I'm back to having to ink. What did you do today? Watch this person put an envelope together. <laughs> what? Say what? <laughs> and she talked about how cold it was and she was going to burn down everything. That was cold three weeks ago. Now it's spring. Okay. I guess we got to do the other side. This is what it takes to make a project when you don't have a lot of time. Okay. So I guess we're going to not worry about making it in. I could make a pocket, but I don't want to. So let's just glue this. Let's glue that there. And that is secure. Okay. And this is going to go Okay, so this is going to go this direction. We could have it at the top. Or we could have it at the bottom. I think in the middle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can't have it in the middle because it cuts it in half that direction and this direction. So we need to have it at the top because if we have it here you got to cut the paper in half there or we already glued that we could have we could make it a pocket here we could make it a pocket here and that works or a slide pocket okay guys do we want let me think for a minute do we want a pocket or hmm, do we want to pluck it or do we want a flip or we want it if I do it this way I don't have to worry about it then I'll get my pocket and I will get this pattern on here too oh Okay, so it fits this way, but will it fit that way? Nope. So we're going to just, I don't want to mess up that pattern. That pattern got me. Let me see. Change patterns. No, I don't want to. Okay, I'm a hot mess. I think we'll just 
do that and I can always add a pocket. I'll add a pocket to this one. That one's open. Maybe all three of these will have pockets. We'll do that. And this is a pocket, definitely. So I don't need a pocket here. So I still cannot get away with. Okay, what if I cut a piece of paper half there and then put this down? And when they flip it, they'll see the other half. Hmm. Nope, don't like that idea. Okay, we are just going to go with. It opens here. I'm going to have it open here then. How about that? Okay, so now I know which way the directions of the paper is going to go. Alrighty, let's make this pocket. And let me pull that back. And I lost my ruler, so this needs to be. This is five and a quarter by six and a quarter. So yeah, okay. So we're going to divide this in half. We're going to divide it in half. So this is five. Ten and a half, so it would be five and a quarter. But I do have room for adjusting, and I kind of don't want to mess up. So I'm going to pull that down. So, yeah, that's five and a quarter. So I already did that trim. So now, let's see, this is. Six and a quarter. And how wide is this? Is seven and a half. So I'm going to take a quarter off of this one. Y'all do not want to stay here for this, I'm sure. And I'm going to take a quarter off of this one. Ooh. Let me see. Okay. I need to make it six and it is seven and a quarter. So I'm going one, two, right. Okay, so this one trying to Keep that name. I'm trying to keep that name. So I keep trimming a little by little to keep that name. I think I did it. Yeah. Now I gotta ink it. I wish I'd have cut both at one time. <laughs> so let me ink. And I'm going to glue this down and I'm going to stop the video because I'm in a antsy pants because I know y'all don't want to be watching this or maybe you do because you know what you can just turn it off so yeah I'm going to just keep processing these envelopes but yeah these envelopes are taking a hot minute aren't they okay so this one Okay, we're going to go the other direction, remember? So this one's going this way. Glad I remembered. 
your first project when you make it yourself with all the uh, measurements and ideas and you're walking through it because I'm creating this all in my head as I go, it does take longer. Now my second and third one that I make of this, um, I'll fly through it because I'll pre-cut everything. So yeah. So hey. Hey, I'm on video. Give me two seconds and I'll hang up because I was thinking about hang, uh, being done. So you just made me be done. So just hold on for one second. You don't even have to talk. But let me tell them goodbye, okay? Hi, baby Axel. My grandson just FaceTimed me. So that means I'm going to go goof off with him on FaceTime. And all my links are down below. I'll be back tomorrow. And so, yeah, thanks, everybody. Have a blessed day.